For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. Now, can you simplify this without using any calculator? So we have 2 times 3 raised to the power of 12 minus 5 times 3 raised to the power of 11 all over 9 raised to the power of 5. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. So, simplify this without using any calculator. So, to do that, let's get this expression and let's focus on this 12 because 12 is greater than 11. Why we do that? Because this 12, we can write this as 11 plus 1 or 1 plus 11. Now, at this point, we will use some loss of exponent. So take note, when we have b raised to the power of a plus c, this can be written as b raised to the power of a multiplied by b raised to the power of c. So this expression right over here, we can rewrite this as 3 raised to the power of 1 times 3 raised to the power of 11. Now the purpose is, take note, we have here a common factor of 3 raised to the power of 11. And if we have a common factor, of course, we will factor the common factor. So if we factor the common factor, we have 3 raised to the power of 11 multiplied by 2 times 3 raised to the power of 1 minus 5. Now, if we simplify this, 2 times 3, this is just 6. And 6 minus 5, this is just 1. And 3 raised to the power of 11 times 1 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 11, of course. Now, from here, since we want to simplify this without using any calculator, let's replace this 9 with 3 raised to the power of 2 because 3 raised to the power of 2 is just 9. And then let's use some loss of exponent. If we have b raised to the power of a raised to the power of c, this is equal to b raised to the power of a times c. Therefore, the denominator must be equal to 3 raised to the power of 2 times 5 or simply equal to 3 raised to the power of 10. And now, using some loss of exponent, 3 raised to the power of 11 over 3 raised to the power of 10, we have the same base. So this is equal to 3 raised to the power of 11 minus 10. And 11 minus 10, this is just 1. And 3 raised to the power of 1 is just 3. And that is the value of this expression. 2 times 3 raised to the power of 12 minus 5 times 3 raised to the power of 11 all over 9 raised to the power of 5. And as always, we are done.